what is it all about? The movie's name is Daddy Daycare. It's called Daddy Daycare. Daddy Daycare. And what is it all about? Eddie Murphy. Eddie loses the job and he gets to be in a Daddy Daycare Center, so then he has a new job. Very interesting. What's it like working with Eddie Murphy? Well, it's nice meeting him, and he, I've seen him on a lot of movies, and it's cool meeting him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Kamani, who plays um, Eddie's son, Eddie and Kamani got along immediately. Almost instantly, they were hanging around, playing around, and it was a big relief for me. Andrew, how long you need, sir? Yes, a Kia. Kia! There you go. I'm a parent, so I know how to, to <laughs> relate to a kid in a cool way. And I think made it easy to be able to act with Kamani on screen. Hey, uh, Phil. Phil. Kamani and Eddie have a great chemistry. And, and they're really, really wonderful together. And when the camera's off and he says, Eddie Murphy, I'll see you at lunch today, you know that it that comedy goes beyond the set. And he was like, you know, he'd come to work and he'd be working with you know, 50 kids and he goes, it's still better than when I go home. I got five kids and I'm like always listening for something to break. So this is like whatever breaks is a problem. Sir, back to your mark, I gotta take a break then. Okay. No, we gotta take a break. Crispin, you wet. Back over here. The difference is that you can tell your own kids, hey, get over there and be quiet. And on a set, it's like you have to negotiate with the kids all the time. Max has to go pee. What's it like working with Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy is a movie star, and he likes to play with us. What's the line? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Go try it once more. What are you saying? <laughs> I just love working with Eddie Murphy. It's fun because we can like talk to him and stuff. We get to be crazy. <laughs> We get to leapfrog with him, and he doesn't watch that much baseball, so he's not like a baseball fan or anything. He is mimicking, I think, his own existence, and it just shows you that time around the Murphy house is probably pretty funny, because he's really clever with the kids, and he's very real with them. You know what? Why don't everybody just run around the circle, okay? Run around the circle. Yeah! They call me Eddie Murphy a lot. Eddie Murphy, good morning, Eddie Murphy. Hi, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> There's so many, I don't know what you should. Eddie Murphy! No, I'm not Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Let's play it again. Try it on the set! Steve Carr, you know, not a great talent, not really funny. <laughs> That's not really true either. What does the director do on set? It tells you what to do. He tells us what to do and what to act like. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. Are you interested in the ancient arts? Yeah. <laughs> Our coach is Andrew and Steve is the director. <laughs> we worked with a child acting coach named Andrew McGarrion. Yeah. Okay, name your name in the movie. What's your name in the movie? Jack. What's your name in the movie? Jamie. Duncan. Crispin, Nikki, Tessa. What's your name in the movie? Ben! Who am I? Oh, that's right. Absolutely terrific. Did an amazing job with working with him prior to the beginning of the film and during the film. Yeah. Good job. Walk in the okay, boundary. Pay attention to Andrew. That's your boundary. You got it? Tell Eddie, Marvin, or Phil so you can go. That's it. The boundary. Okay. He's our coach. He helps us, and we even copy him, like when he says silly words that are not real. Like, ooh, ah, shot. And also, when he says quiet, we go quiet. Ha ho! Ooh, ah! Ooh, ah! Ooh, chiwo! Ooh, so funny. I mean, it's really funny. This area here hey. is where you play. Okay? Come on, Leah. Come on, Leah. He's always there for me to be able to lean on because, you know, 
I don't have kids, and Andrew always knew the right words and the way to help me get what I needed from it. Okay, when you're saying it, sweetie, you're looking here, you're looking there, you're looking here for help, you're looking there. You got it? They're a great group of kids, and it's remarkable how well they get along, given the fact that most of them are four years old. Kids generally work about six hours a day, so that's hard for the production, particularly in a movie like this, where they're in practically every scene. Um, uh, the production has to work around them a lot of the time. What's kind of crazy is the logistical problems that that creates. I mean, when you shoot a movie, you're usually here all day for 12 hours, and you're just kind of like, you know, rolling along but with kids you know they gotta take their nap and drink milk they have a union they have game boy breaks for like 20 minutes their union's strong man sag's got to get with it how much does that kid wash they have a uh, nap time but that's in my contract too but that's not a union thing <laughs> This is Hinton. You're going back to work. Lawyer, I believe your file said. Uh, it's actually astonishing how much a four-year-old can comprehend about the making of a movie. It's something they're interested in. They have tapes at home. They watch television, and, and they understand the process. Hey, you see me on the camera? Interestingly enough, you think kids are somewhat confining, but they're not at all. I find it to be exhilarating. and It's all about listening to kids. You just let them do what they're going to do, and then you look at them and don't react, and it's funny. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I feel for Eddie and Jeff and Steve. I mean, they, they, they got a lot on their plate. You just got to have patience and remember that they're children. They're not adults, although this is an adult medium. Their children. And then every now and then they would get these kids, like you'd come in and you'd see like for breakfast a kid would be having like a donut and a soda and it's like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, the kid is running all over the place all day. It would be really maudlin and contrived if I or Eddie or Steve tried to be nice to the kids and tried to be warm with the kids. We're nice guys and we're just working with the kids and being normal, not uh, trying to be uh, sweet and warm and cuddly. They all have to have a certain amount of hours of school each day. We're dealing with little kids, like three, four, five year olds, so kids get sleepy and cranky. Let's see. All right, here we go. Quiet, <laughs> please. I'm always looking out for the welfare of the kids. I told them all, if you're not having fun at any point while we're filming, please come and tell me. A couple of them have reminded me, if I'm not having fun, I come tell you, and then I think they're about to tell me, and I say, are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. Good. It's not hard at all for me. Not hard at all. Because they're a bunch of four-year-olds. They should have fun, you know? That's the point of it. They don't care about filmmaking. I don't either. <laughs> it's fun. That's what the movie's all about. Fun. It's kind of fun, you know, because it's acting, you know, and when the kids get too crazy, you could, you could leave. Do I have to do my lines? You have to do them because you pick to be on TV and you have to say some words. <laughs> that sounds good. Thanks. 